Okay, hello there. Um, so this is Toby and I'm here just making a video of my fancy dancy new camcorder. And today I'm using a new set from Technique Tuesday. And I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I have a couple things already started. So I embossed the stamp I'm going to use. You and me equals friends forever. Cute. And I embossed that in white on black cardstock. And I also uh, just embossed a piece of white cardstock, just basil. It's textured on one side, but I'm going to use the untextured. And then I have some stencils and I have some paint and um, I don't know. We're going to figure out what we're going to do on the way, I guess. So. Uh, over the summer, I had a really exciting summer. I don't know if you, any of you guys follow me on Facebook or whatever, um, and I mentioned on my blog, but I had a really epic road trip. Um, epic, like 12,000 kilometers. I don't know what that is, 9,000 miles, something all over kind of the west coast of the states. And I met Terry from Technique Tuesday. And and she, it was so nice to meet her. I only met her for like a, a little while in the afternoon. Or no, it was in the morning actually. But um, yeah, she gave me uh, a whole bunch of Technique Tuesday stamps to keep me going for the next couple months. And she was also such, such a sweetie and she gave me a whole bunch of stencils to play with. So I thought I would incorporate that on today's card somehow. So... Um, okay, I'm going to put this aside so it doesn't get ruined. And I have kind of a, uh, just a, a color palette kind of put together. And I'm just going to put some paint on palette paper here. So it's like a navy blue, magenta. I feel like this is like my go-to color palette lately. Um, kind of loving purple. Half my head is purple hair and the other half is black. Um, really trying to embrace that color. I wasn't a fan for such a long time. Anyway. And then just for fun, I have a little bit of silver paint here as well. bit of gesso. It's funny, here in China we don't have the usual brands like Liquitex and Golden. They're just not in the stores. Even a big city like Shanghai, it's just, I think it's just too expensive to import. And um, so there's this company here called Marie's. And they manufacture all of their own paints. So like all the acrylics and oils and watercolors and they make their own canvases. And so I have some of that stuff. And that's what this gesso is right here. Okay, where to start? Well, so on my desk, I have this blue rubbery mat and this is the uh, Ranger non-stick mat thing. So when I paint, I just, I paint right on those and then they can just wipe off. So just in case you're wondering. So I'm going to take a brush. I could take my fingers, but as you may have noticed, I have a band-aid on one finger because well, you don't really want to know, and I'm not going to go into details, but a nail is injured. Let's just say that. Beyond repair. I'm going to have to wear this band-aid for the next four months. And that's not going to be fun. So, I'm going to try and not finger paint. And just see how long that lasts. So, I'm... I'm kind of just going to lay down what I feel is my base color, which is that um, 
the Vibrant Turquoise Dilutions mixed with some gesso. And then these other colors can be my accent colors. So Okay, I don't know. It looks done to me. So I'm going to just dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's dry. Clean my mat. And I think I'm going to use this because it's, well, it's one of those smaller stencils and I think. It'd be cool if it could, I don't know, wrap around or something like that. So, back in Canada when I taught classes, one of the questions I got a lot was how to stencil cleanly because um, it's very easy with the, these stencils to kind of mess it up. So, my my technique, and I have no idea what other people do, I think it's probably similar, um, is dry brushing. And I think it's just like in the old days when we used to stencil on walls, we use that dry brush and kind of just tap into the stencil. So that's what we're going to do. So I put some of the, the brush in the paint and again, a dry brush. And then I tap even more off onto one of my mats. And then as much as I can, I'm going to try and brush into the image. So, I mean, this is really small, so it's kind of hard, but um, I'm not going to go into the stencil this way. That wasn't very helpful, that was my hand. Um, I'm going to try and go from the stencil onto the paper. And just kind of smash my brush into the paper. So I'll, um, I'll probably just time lapse this and I'll just work my way around. Okay, so that's done. I'm just going to add a little bit more here. I don't want this. A little darker because of what I'm going to do. Whoops. So I have this blob of silver paint over here. And um, I don't quite know if this is going to work out, but we'll see. So I'm going to do the same thing, the same brush, because whatever, the silver and the navy can mix together and that would be great. So I'm just going to pick a little bit up, tap it off, and then I'm just going to try and catch the top portion of the image. Okay. Ooh, and the silver is like so reflective. Okay. So, where's the sentiment? There it is. Okay. 
Alright, um, hmm, am I done? I don't know. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is just do some splatters. Okay, so once again, I will go away, clean up, get my card base prepped, and show you the rest of the card. Okay, so before I go on to the next step, I just thought I'd show you what I'll do with the leftover paint. So this is uh, my Dilutions journal, and I just decorated the front. Um, and this is kind of like a random journal, but if you guys are followers of Donna Downey, which if you're getting into mixed media, I highly suggest you do. Um, she does this smush journal thing um, where you take your leftover paint and you smush it around and it could be um, an instigator for future pages. So. This was a bunch of paint just mushed together and then I added a bunch of stuff became a page. This one was like literally like this one and then I just drew some stuff on top. Uh, same with this one. So I'll just go to a new page. See that one was just like gray gesso. Very pretty. Those are gessoed. Blue paint. Very nice. Alright. So I'm going to take the palette. My leftover paint on it. And smush my book into it. And I just want to get a little bit more paint into the seam and this the paint is kind of thick in some places so this will have to I'll set that somewhere to dry okay, so what I have is my panel my nice clean hopefully stays clean white card base Some of these guys, sequins. We'll see how it all comes together. A little shy and sad of I, but very wise. Was he? So now I'm going to adhere the sequins now that I've figured out, I think, where I want them with the glossy accents. And while we spoke of many things, foes and kings, this he said to me. All right, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this long and um, kind of crazy adventure. Um, but I'm really excited that I have this camera so I can 
share these projects with you. So I hope to see you again soon. Have a good day.